Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do part two of the video on the ZVS Tesla Core, showing you how to tune the Tesla Core and a few little tips to get it working great. Um, I hope you enjoyed my last video and um, uh, I hope you enjoy this one too. You can tune these coils without having them connected up to any power source. All you need is the power supply to the gate. Now, let me bring this little neon bulb near to that secondary to see if we get any output. So, uh, let's try a CFL. Here's a CFL. Now we're going to come down one turn. Now it's jumped resonance. So it's actually out of resonance. But let's see if we're getting any output. So we're getting a little bit of output from the CFL, better than it was on the top turn. We're getting improved output from the neon bulb. And we're at, we've jumped to 360 something. So I'm gonna unplug it and then replug it to see if we can get it to its true primary resonant point. So now it's at its true resonant. Now let's look at the neon. Still pretty good. And the CFL, still kind of good. And uh, we're still not there yet. It should be, we should be at 275. So we're gonna come down one more turn. And it may actually be better to unplug it when you change the, the position of the um, tap points. Now let's plug it in. We've got a probe on the table picking up the electric field. And it's jumped into a different node. Notice that? So let's unplug it and replug it. And now it's very close to where it should be. The actual resonant frequency is 275 kilohertz. So now let's look at our CFL output. And that's much better. I don't have to touch it to the coil. When I've gone down one more turn, now I'm at 429 kilohertz. Let's see what it does with the CFL. It doesn't light it at all, look at that. Now let's bring it up one turn again. Now we're back at 275. Now let's check our output. And we're about 40 volts on here on this very end. Now I'm going to make it switch its frequency by touching it with a screwdriver and see what the output is again. First of all, let's get some, a little bit of output going and touch it with the uh, screwdriver. Note the uh, frequency, 270 something kilohertz. Let's touch it, here it goes. Now notice the output suddenly died and we jumped up to 380 kilohertz. Now if I go up on my voltage, Look how much less the um, output is. So this is the main issue with CVS Tesla coils, is making sure that if you discharge the output of the secondary to ground, that you're not gonna shift the frequency. Okay, here's the oscilloscope. And what we have here is the CVS Tesla coil. And note that these Tesla coils do not need to have a top load. You just need a breakout point and a secondary coil and no, um, no aluminum top load, and you just need your primary, which is typically just some thick copper uh, wire or tubing. I have quarter inch copper tubing here, and I'm using a fuse holder. I soldered that onto a piece of wire, and I'm using that as my tap point, which I can move around. And the only thing that's powering this Tesla coil right now is this wall adapter, which is supplying 12 volts to the gates of the ZVS driver. And the blue trace is the mains, and the yellow trace is this probe that's sitting here 
on the table. So we're just gonna leave it like that, sitting on the table. And we're gonna zoom in on this yellow trace. And the yellow trace is what's coming out of our secondary coil. And let's measure it. We're getting about 275 kilohertz, which is the resonant frequency of the Tesla coil, the secondary of the Tesla coil. And it's also the resonant frequency of the primary LC tank. So it's this, this setup is actually double resonant. And let's zoom out. So, there, so the blue is your 60 hertz mains. Now we're gonna lock it onto the mains instead of the uh, yellow trace. So now it's locked onto mains. So um, what we're gonna do now is turn down what the probe is picking up in the air. This probe is just basically sitting here and picking up that coil. Now we're gonna turn on the variac and actually power the coil and see what we start to get. Now you can see that kind of fuzziness in the mains, that's actually interference from the coil getting back into the household mains. Now I'm gonna increase it more. And now we're starting to get some output from the coil. Now you notice that coil only comes on during one phase of the mains because I'm using these diodes here, these two big diodes right there to half wave rectify the mains. Only the positive of the mains is turning on the coil. I'm gonna turn the lights down a little bit so you can see the output better. And we're gonna crank it up to about 36 volts. Typically, you don't wanna go above 60 volts DC or around 40 to 50 volts AC with uh, these type of coils. Here's what it looks like on the scope. And if you zoom out on that, it looks a bit like a ramped Tesla coil. Well folks, um, that's it on how to tune these and I hope this is helpful to you if you decide to make one and tune it. Um, it's quite empirical, it needs a lot of you know trial and error to get the tuning right, but once you get it, it works just great. If you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe.